there we go not sure what they are but they're absolutely fantastic to see welcome to the Wednesday shave to the midweek shave how are you doing um, trying to be gather everything together and uh, been looking forward to seeing you actually it's nice um, like seeing an old friend <laughs> in these mad times so that's what we're dealing with um, right razor what did I well I thought I'd use this thing it's the mule r108 and um, you can see the handle it's like a false horn false um, tortoiseshell faux faux um, handle uh, very nice slight overhang blade of choice is going to be one of these Gillette Wilkinson uh, blades brand new three-piece non-adjustable razor closed comb and there's the blade anyway hope you your family and all your friends hopefully uh, are doing okay um, a soap this is uh, one of my favorite soaps Tale of Old Bond Street Grapefruit. I've just fancied this today. Um, we're going to use that. We're going to use a pre-shave first. True Fit and Hill Ultimate Comfort Pre-Shave Oil. Non-greasy. Um, but I've had one of the best pre-shaves you can have. And that's having a shower. Just had a shower. So we're all ready to go. Brush of choice is going to be the old Simog 830 Bore Brush. Uh, good brush had in many years now and I'm just going to gather that's been shaken but not stirred <laughs> right just going to gather lilacs in the springtime <laughs> I'm sorry it's too early in it to be silly just twist and shout <laughs> what the hell's the matter with me right here we go okay that's enough and now we can always go back wet on your bed that's that and then we'll add a bit of the shave well only a few drops but four drops I think Beautiful citrusy scent. It's like having a crash with an orange lorry. <laughs> Dip in water. Mmm, the scent of this. Oh, like having grapefruit for breakfast. Do you ever like that? That was a lovely treat in the summer as a child, and I haven't had it since. It was a grapefruit, and I like it quite bitter, but. As a child, my grandmother used to give us that treat and slice the grapefruit in half in the evening and coat it with sugar, both halves, and leave them in the fridge overnight and then bring them out in the morning. And the, the sugar obviously would have dissolved slightly into the fruit and it was lovely. It took the bitterness off, but I don't mind the bitterness. Not that you wanted to know that. <laughs> Tune in every week. Always something silly to say. Okay. Heat the old uh, R108. And here we go, first pass. Wow, that's nice. Nice blade. Oh, nice razor. So, how has the week been so far? What have you been up to? Anything nice? 
well, not that we can go anywhere, but uh, <laughs> heard the other day alcohol sales in the UK are up 30%. <laughs> I think it's uh, for reasons uh, we need not go into. Or in other words, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> and I've had more barbecues this year uh, to have them in April is amazing, um, so early, but I've had more so far than I had all last year. We've had some beautiful weather. Cloudy yesterday, hint of rain. Much cooler. That's a beautiful first pass. Nice blade, that. Especially in there, and if you want to know the blade, the the head of that is a very, as we always say, a very Edwin Jagger head. Beautiful slickness, gorgeous scent of grapefruit, and it's something. I, it's one of those soaps for me. As long as I don't use a very strong aftershave cologne after, when I come back in here after shaving. It's, you can just smell that hint of grapefruit. Beautiful. It's like walking into a, an old um, fruit and veg shop we used to have in the years ago. And you always smelt uh, the produce that was on this place. Lovely. Right, here we go. Oh, I'm telling you all this stuff. This brush has become softer and softer as we've used it and it's a really nice good value brush good quality and if he is as long as you rinse it properly wash it if you need to and dry it correctly on a stand wring it I dry it on a towel some people don't like doing that but I do and then I leave it upside down like that for at least 24 hours well, it's longer really because I don't, uh, I stop it hanging after 24 hours and I put it back where it belongs, um, ready for next time. So it's drying for many days, weeks really. Because as you know, I don't use the, tend to use the same brush twice. Well, maybe sometimes, but not often. Okay, here we go. Second pass across the growth or grain as some people say very nice what's the shave of the day for you This is lovely. Forgot to check the double chins back in, in stock. They have been on uh, Amazon and eBay. And someone said they spotted one or two on Etsy, so I don't know. <laughs> Beautiful. Much more to do yet. Yeah. Quite warm. Okay. Do we need to go back?
yeah so we'll go back just slightly twist the edges tips and I will rinse this because it's sort of a damp brush and I'll rinse that out and leave that overnight and then that dries lovely it's a cream crope whatever you want to call it touch of water Mmm, smell that. <laughs> oh, this is how I like it. Just reminded me actually, um, something I'm going to do uh, is get a grapefruit and have a breakfast. Um, I may do one half with sugar and one without, so. I'll get both, best of both worlds, a reminder of my youth <laughs> and I can eat it as I like it today. So here we go, third pass against the growth. We haven't heard a ladyship, have we, for a while? We've been paid as well. Did I tell you I've had my tomato plants? Uh, forgive me if I have, but I've got um, three varieties this year. Um, Mrs H popped into a local sort of, uh, well, he's, he's, yeah, like a garden centre, but he's not. He's a private, you know, um, small business, really, working from home. And he's been open. So if, uh, Mrs H popped in on the way from work. And the varieties are one beef steak um, tomato, which is a large tomato. That'd be lovely on burgers and things. Um, and I might even do fried green tomatoes. I've tried that once. <sighs> Beautiful. When they're green, obviously. But um, beef steak, uh, there's one called Alicante, which is a normal sized tomato. And one is called Moneymaker, which is another normal sized tomato. I've been given some leeks, which is, if you don't know what that is, I'm sure you do, is a type of onion. It's a vegetable of Wales, leeks, and the flower is daffodils. Um, been given some five or six leeks by a colleague who grows them in his allotment. So uh, I've never grown them before. So I've been assured by him I can grow them in a pot, which is deep enough. And... Uh, He's giving me some tips on how to uh, start them. Put your dipper in the soil. Put the leek in and fill it with water and leave it. Make sure it doesn't float. Leave it down there, apparently. I've never done it before, but it did work, he said, for him. So turned into a gardening programme now. And um, I'm yet to get some chilies. I'm hoping to get a few chilies, but... Uh, I might check with this chap actually, with this, if he's got any, but I don't think he'd have any ones I want. I want Naga, Scorpion, and um, Carolina Reaper maybe. <laughs> Beautiful slickness. And there's a few pickups, which is nice for me. I like that. Pickup time or the fourth pass. Oh, just a minute. Otherwise, it'll annoy me all day. <laughs> right. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. 
Oh, the bell be gone. No, sorry. Right. Nothing to bring. Yeah, plenty there, plenty there. So, here we go. Yeah, one of my favourite scents. And another scent I like from them, which is a very classy scent. And that's the um, German Street Collection for Sensitive Skin. Black Tub. Had it for, year, for years. And then they've come out with the um, Forest... Uh, what is it called? Royal Forest. Um, that's a beautiful scent as well. I like that type of scent. And there's one, the Platinum. Another one. Those three and this would be my favourites from Taylor's. I love that sound. <laughs> Whether it draws blood or not. Has to be done for us. With OCD of shaving, <laughs> I think. M might be just me. But I doubt it. The good thing with this slick is you can do this sort of thing. Wow, gorgeous. Right, cold water. Right, Thayer's peach. So we've had grapefruit, we've had citrus pre <laughs> a citrus starter, a citrus main, and a citrus dessert. When you look at the levels of shaving, the, the passes and the, very much like a meal, starter, main, Dessert and <laughs> and then we're going to head to Turkey for some ake lemon cologne. You can either spray it, but I'm going to into my hand. Oh come on, come on, lemons, oh, blimey! That's lovely. And then, I like this, we're heading to the body shop for the macaroot and aloe. This is made, uh, it's Carmen Post Shave Water Gel um, Lotion and it's made with Mexican aloe and uh, Pervervian macaroot, Pervervian macaroot. Per, what is that? I can't see without glasses. Peruvian, Peruvian maybe, Peruvian. Disgusting. That's uh, that's what that looks like. Yeah, it's lovely. Good stuff. That is nice. Wow. Oh, oh. oh, we're cooking on gas, baby. So, a quick reminder: Mule R one oh eight. Three piece non adjustable false tortoiseshell horn, whatever you, it is. Um, beautiful, it shines. You can see through it in the light, but you can't see 
No, you can't see in the, oh you may see a glimpse there, maybe, I don't know. And there's a nice uh, nice handle. The smooth grip doesn't hamper it for me, but I always make sure there's no soap on the handle. Uh, water is good as your friend with that. Uh, some people put alum on their fingers and it's a solid grip, but no problems. Uh, slight overhang. The Gillette Wilkinson blade, brand new, really nice, very close, very smooth. Taylor of Old Bond Street grapefruit shaving cream, gathered from the pack with a brush, so no bowl needed. Very slick, beautiful scent, um, gorgeous. Oh, and before that, we used True Fit and Hill, the uh, uh, ultimate comfort sh pre shave oil, very citrus scent on that. And it's not oily, it's pre-shave oil, but it's not oily. It does a good job. Some Olgate 30 ball brush. Then we rinsed with cold Welsh water. We used hazel peach. Beautiful Thayers. <coughs> nice scent to that, that's realistic as well. Then we used uh, Ake, I'm saying that, Eau de Cologne, lemon. Really nice, strong scent of lemon. Doesn't last though, but it's nice. I uh, wish they did last. And then we got the Macaroot and Aloe Calming Post Shave Water Gel. Really nice, from the body shop. And that is it. I'll moither you no more. You've got probably better things to do, like shaving yourselves or whatever. Um, yeah, so have a great rest of the week. Thanks again for all your support, comments and everything like that. I'm watching this, taking the time to watch it. It's nice to have your company. Um, it really is, twice a week. So have some great shaves, stay safe and uh, happy if you can. And I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care.